Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to create cumulative percentage graphs. It's a way of looking at large amounts of data graphically. And we'll use uh, ACT data from 2012 as an example. So we have 102 students that took the ACT. There's four categories, four subjects, and then the average. So let's do a histogram. So we'll go to data and data analysis, histogram. The input range would be, OK, we could do math. And then the bin range goes from G1 to G26. That should include all these numbers. Oops, I'm going to have to cancel this. I want to extend going this range. I just wanted to show you if I only have to type a few numbers, I wanted to go for an ACT score from 7 to 32. I can select this corner here and it will repeat that pattern that I've started already. Okay, so now when I do my data, data analysis, histogram, do my math column, okay, bin range, all this in blue, yeah, select that, cumulative percentage, chart output, just so you can see what it looks like. Put it in M13, no, let's put it in. Put it right here. Okay, so cumulative percentage. So there's only a few students that are below a score of 15, but by the time we get up to a score of 20, there's quite a large percentage of students. 50% of the students are below, what, 18 or 17? Anyways, it goes up to 100%. So by the time we get up around the 32 range, all of our students are at that score or below. So I'll change this cumulative percentage to math just so I can keep track of which one I did. Let's do that for English. Data, data analysis, histogram. Let's change our input chart, our input data, input range to the English. And let's change our output we can just use the same bin range. Let's change our output range to scoot it over and down a little bit so it doesn't ride over the top of something else. Okay, now I would like to graph. Well, let's go look at it. That's quite a different cumulative percentage, different shape. I would like to get both of those on the same chart. So let's do that. <clears throat> if I take my math and select that. Copy, let's scoot over a ways and put it here. And let's go back and find our English. Copy and we'll scoot over here. And we will paste that there. So I need to add an English. Okay. So I'm going to delete this frequency column. Now if I select that, it will graph both of those charts on the same chart. I'm going to insert a scatter plot, connect the points. Okay. So the English has a higher value at fifth, a score of 15. Uh, is a high value good? No, that's the percentage of students at that score or below. So we want to have very few students below 15 because that makes it hard to get into college. So we want to be low. But people often interpret graphs, the higher is the better. So I would like to propose that we invert that. Instead of saying the percentage of students below a certain score, let's say the percentage of students above a certain score. Well, we can accomplish that by saying 
minus the percentage below will be the percentage above. So after copying over the heading and the bins, now if I select a place right here, I'm going to say that equals y2 1 minus y2. So 100% minus 0%, still 100%. If I grab the corner and do that for English as well, and then grab that corner and do it for all of the values, down to 30 then if I created a scatter plot and connect the points insert scatter plot connect the points it's basically just flipped over so the higher is better so for example at a score of 15 there's about 80% of our students are um, above a score of 15 in math and in English about 40 percent of our students are above a 15 in English so you want to have that as high as possible okay so now let's uh, clean up the graph a little bit label it um, we want to do the layout chart title above the chart 2012 San Juan High cumulative percentage. Well, that may be unclear what that means, and so let's clarify that with our axis titles. So the horizontal axis title will be the ACT score and the vertical axis, let's rotate it, will be percentage of students above oops let's get that one <laughs> wow there we go percentage of students above score while I have this chart selected let's show you a trick for making it more re readable let's increase the font size we don't have to go to 150 percent we don't have to go to 40 we can fix those clicking on these for example going from 5 to 35 kind of zooms in for us that's a pretty good graphical representation of huge amounts of data